Hi everyone, this is Tracy here. I just wanted to share um, a toilet paper mini that I made. Um, this is my first toilet paper mini. Um, I actually used um, paper towel rolls and just cut them in half and measured them to be a little tiny bit, like maybe a half an inch, a quarter an inch, half an inch um, longer than a toilet paper roll. Um, I didn't use too many embellishments uh, because I do plan on putting photos um, in on this mini actually and um, the space is very limited as you know. Um, I used one, two, three, four pieces which um, totaled um, you know two paper towel rolls. Okay, let's see. I used my mind's eye paper collection. Um, this was um, Miss Caroline's dolled up. I used um, Hug Snug Seam Binding, which I just um, colored up. Um, I left a little bit of it white, um, used Victorian Velvet, and um, the Evergreen, um, Tim Holtz, the Seasonal Evergreen, um, to match the distressing that I did around the edges of um, the complete album. Right here is, um, it's kind of chunky, so it's hard, the angle's very hard. Um, I used the EK Success um, Punch, Butterfly Punch, which has three layers, but I only used two. Uh, I used a little bit of Wad to Scrap Belang. It's not focusing very well, sorry about that. On the butterfly itself, and um, just as a little flourish on the side. Uh, the second page, I made some banners with a paper collection and did a little bit of twine around the sticks for the toothpicks. Uh, the third page, I made some pinwheels. I probably should have used a different pattern. Um, I just thought it looked really pretty and I tried to alternate um, from the other side of the uh, pattern paper. So you get a little bit of the plaid there. Put a little bit of the wand to scrap rhinestones um, in the middle. The next page, I just used a um, the Tim Holtz tattered floral die. I used the tiny one, um, the smallest one out of them, and um, just did three layers of the same pattern paper. And I put a wild orchid craft rose. Um, it's a 10 millimeter rose, open rose in the middle. And I just distressed that with the evergreen also, just a slightly. The next page, I used a gardenia. It was a pink gardenia. And I um, actually, it was quite bright, so I tried to tone it down a little bit with, um, I think also I used um, the worn lipstick. Which is also a bright color, but it was it's a little bit darker than the flower itself. And then I just put a couple of the um, lit calla lilies on the side. And then the next page, uh, a couple more pinwheels with some more want to scrap bling in the centers. And this page, I just used a wild orchid craft. Um, heart ribbon buckle and I put a button from my stash with some um, lemon and white twine in the middle and I just um, wrapped the t same color twine around the spool, a wooden little um, spool and distressed um, that also with the, um, the evergreen bow color. And the last page um, I made a stick pin and um, really pretty stick pin. He just started off with a Maya Road um, uh, stick pin and then I just added my own um, crystal beads and um, the, um, the heart charm and some wild orchid craft um, leaves, skeleton leaves in the small cream. And then each of um, the Rolls has their own, I'm trying to do this with one hand, um, inserts that 
the tags that um, go inside. Um, I just um, distressed it on one side, well, both sides, and um, used my Stampin' Up um, the the pull tab punch, and I did journaling lines on the other side. Um, so you could put a photo on this side and journaling on this side and just slide them back through. Um, I won't show you them all because they are all the same um, except for the colors um, you know on the tabs. I used the alternating um, pattern papers for the collections. Um, so I hope you like this mini. Um, it's my first one and thank you for watching.